so um, I and myself study uh, I've been in Malaysia for one year now and uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay. So I've been here for one year in Malaysia uh, with not background coming to the IT sector with uh, working in the across the black pictures I sit uh, down here is the moon of the creative crowd and the design thinking crowd. So don't bother about the presentation, it's not that design oriented presentation. But I try to touch upon a few things uh, what I love about WordPress because I've been uh, trying to use WordPress for the past six months because I try to kind of uh, come up with some creative designs or creative websites. Uh, present something to my uh, customers or clients and I felt like WordPress is uh, a platform where someone can easily go in and uh, kind of design their websites and uh, then I see again the nice when uh, when he said that 43 percentage of the uh, world is building their websites on WordPress and I thought like my choice was also right but WordPress is a kind of a broken platform and the, the, uh, the beauty of WordPress is like it's a community right it's not about like uh, uh, you just develop a website and then uh, someone has to maintain it, someone has to support the website. And so so that's what I was trying to put these blocks over here. Uh, that is different communities. Today you go and see like there's a developer community, there's a designer community, that people contribute across different communities to make the experience better. It's not about my like, job. Uh, uh, when you do something, there should be someone to review it and there should be someone to add on top of it to that. So that creates the creativity around it. Uh, that's why innovations come in. Uh, so in that way, WordPress as a community, it offers a lot of things uh, as a platform. Uh, WordPress again has the two or two different versions. One is the WordPress.org and the WordPress platform. Uh, uh, is something more of a community-based thing. And uh, so that's what interesting me. And uh, since it's more of a like talk today, I try to touch more money than other writers uh, probably when uh, I have a chance to present all your work and answer at this time. For the uh, more detailed aspects. Uh, so that's where the WordPress communities are wanted to touch more on this presentation. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, now, it's the community architecture, right? Because, yeah, community architecture. So, what is the community? When you say community, right? Uh, when you say when you have, when you learn something, you say when you gain some knowledge. Uh, you get some power that you have a lot later on something. Uh, what about communities? Like, community is one of the strength because you bring people all together with many people bringing different knowledges, and uh, that's why the community is more of a strength. So, when uh, communities are uh, what this is like, uh, uh, it's not about having a community, you have to architect it in a proper way so that uh, each and every aspect gels well and it works together so that uh, you give back to the community. Uh, you form a community and you give back the community, right? So that's how it is. So we, in the community, all started with information architecture. Today, we'll speak about data, AI, and all these things. It's all about information, how we kind of engineer towards uh, data, what kind of science you can build towards data, data science, which is say, you do a machine learning and all these things. Uh, that's a good example which I've come up today. But that doesn't stop with that. Uh, you have to present the data to someone on the side. Uh, you have to organize it in a way. So that, that organization then comes up with the website that's when an enterprise comes and says, this is my board, this is my services. Like uh, artists were saying, like, this is my platform, you can do, you can apply for a job, or you can uh, kind of design a code, you can do your profile or that. So enterprise is something like, uh, they form a specific architecture around their services and uh, all the catalogs they have. Now lastly, the government architecture, it's an open source platform uh, that it is not an individual enterprise content which will every individual content which will community and that forms a larger for forum or an architecture and that's why only has most strength uh, to do things and uh, it is one of the more people. Uh, so that's, I thank you for that. Uh, yeah, I am not fancy presentation slightly, but uh, this is what I want to touch as far as I think now. Thank you very much.